We have to work to inspire, to innovate, and build new solutions. But for all this to work, we have to work together. At ZipRecruiter, they connect employers and people every day, but today is different. They are partnering with first responders, government officials, the medical community, the innovators, and the manufacturing, transportation, and food distribution industries to make sure they are finding the right people for the right jobs right now. Let's work together at ZipRecruiter.com slash work together. That was like a presidential what delivery. A touching read right there. Yeah, I we are almost, Zip Recruiter and we will I, overcome. I had a little tear in my eye yeah, the way that, you were delivering that. That President shit was deep. United States, David Dobrik. It felt very presidential. Well done. Thank you. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views, the podcast. That's my last expression of creativity left because I don't make. It's your only anymore. expression of creativity, that and Call of Duty. <laughs> Call of Duty. Yeah. God damn, Jason's been so pissed. I've been fucking playing Call of Duty. I'm done with your Call of Duty. Why don't you show some respect to your veterans? <laughs> <laughs> I roll the intro music. Okay, this is weird. What happened? Let's get it right off the bat. Um, I ordered tacos today. Sure. And in my bag of food, like where like the, um. the taco and everything was, they gave me a straight up toilet paper roll, like a full toilet paper roll. Oh, that's fucking gross. You, <laughs> you <laughs> could tell. so gross. You could tell it's not used, but it is gross. And now, now I'm thinking, I'm like, would the food place actually do it? Or is the delivery guy like trying to get some extra points and he like put it in there on his own, which even makes me think that's even grosser. Call the place yeah. right now and find out. Who did this? Yeah, just be like, what's Who going on? Who put this fucking toilet paper roll? It's cute, but it's just like weird. It's, I, I don't understand the premise. I just Yeah. The other day I broke my phone. Oh, you poor baby. Shut up, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, this is serious. Like, okay. I haven't backed my phone up in like two years. So every contact, I know this sounds dramatic, but it's like, I've, like, I feel like I've gotten the majority of my work life, like, done in the last two years. Sure. Like, that's where the most progress has been. You met David Blaine? I met David Blaine. Yeah. So I have David Blaine, uh, David Blaine's assistant phone number in my phone. Oh, it's very important to have. Crazy. Um, Natalie, I'm not so now. I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, so uh, it's really important for me to have my phone contacts and nothing was backed up. I haven't backed it up in over a year and a half. Um, so last night, it was like 10 o'clock, I ordered food. My food was coming to, to my house and I wanted to go outside and I wanted to check to see if the gate was open so the guy can get in. And my car was the only way to open the gate um, and the gate wasn't open. So I had to open the gate, but I haven't driven my car in so long that my car was completely dead. And it was parked too far from the charger where I couldn't plug in so I couldn't turn back on, it was just dead. So I was like, fuck, okay, I'm screwed. But as I was out there, I also noticed a guy who had his car parked right up against my gate on the other side and was just waiting for me. And, and he was like, hello? hello? He was, hello? And I go, hi? This is 10 o'clock at night. I, hi. And he goes, um, I'm just wondering, uh, I've talked to your other neighbors, but your Ford, uh, do you own that Ford Bronco? Because it's unlocked and I just want to make sure that no one steals anything from it. Which, oh it it's a ridiculous thing to come up and, uh, and <laughs> tell, say to a person at 10 o'clock at night, yeah. especially because the Ford Bronco is basically a fucking convertible. So what matter. the hell would we have in that car? It doesn't matter if it's unlocked. It's, that's, how it, that's how it lives yeah. if it's unlocked. So yeah, so I got freaked out. So I'm like, I don't know what this guy wants. And I told him that I was like, okay, thank you. And then instead of leaving, he went and he parked right by the Ford Bronco and stayed in his car with the lights on, just waiting for me, I think, to go check if the car was on oh. So I was like, okay, fuck it. I'm not going to go. I'm not going out the front door. So I called my, I called my Postmates guy, and I was like, stay. S don't come to my house. Stay at the bottom of the street. Do not come up to the street. And I gave him new, like, coordinates, or, like, a new street. To coordinates? Me. <laughs> what are you, in the meet, fucking CIA? Meet me at 3467.5 East <laughs> Longitude. No, I, I had him meet me at, on, on another street. So, and he was, he was kind of freaked out. He's like, okay, what are you saying? He was a little bit confused. So he's like, don't worry, I'll explain. And then I hung up. And I, I felt bad that, I, like, I stressed him out. So I was like, so I was like, okay, I got to get to this guy quick or he's going to be like sketched out and he's going to leave. So I went, instead of going from the front of my house, I went from the back. Like the back of my house is, is just a hill. Like my, I have like a view where it overlooks like a hill and then it's like a pretty steep drop down to my neighbors and it was rainy. It was like, it rained like 20 minutes before. So I kind of slid down the hill. I was like sliding down the hill, like on my ass. Like I was getting really dirty going down this hill. And then I got to my neighbor's property line where my property line and his connect there's a fence. So my goal was to hop over into his backyard and go through his backyard and out to the main street so I could avoid this guy that's sitting outside my house. Yeah. So I got, I got to the property line and I hopped the fence. I hopped the fence over to my neighbor's backyard at 10, like 10, 15 at night, whatever it was. And, um, 
and right as I jumped this it. This is the reverse of Postmates, by the way. Yeah, like they're, they're supposed to come to your door. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, ma- and like, make it easy. Yeah, yeah. This is the part of the movie that like should have taken one minute to get through, but it right. takes like 30 minutes. <laughs> right. So then so then I hop the fence, but as I hop his fence to his backyard, I didn't realize there was another hill. And I tripped and I literally tumble like three times. I tumble. And then my phone, my phone flies out of my fucking hand. And like in slow motion, obviously, like that's how I'm seeing everything at this point. In slow motion, lands right into the middle of the fucking pool, like right in the middle of his pool. Like, yeah, it made the perfect sound. And my phone is cracked, so it's not waterproof. It's not like a regular iPhone. So I didn't waste any time. So I fucking jumped into the pool immediately, like jumped right into the middle of the pool. I completely, it was pretty deep. It was like more than I could stand. So my, my everything, like everything was wet. Like I went down there because I had to go grab it. I can only imagine. And and then I come out of there. Taylor leaves you for five minutes. (laughs) This is what happens to you. Yeah. And, th- and then I c- and then I come out of the pool. I'm drenched. My phone is fucking not turning back on, and and now I have to go. And now I hop my neighbor's fence right. to go back out to the main street, uh-huh. trying not to wake anybody up as I'm fucking panicking. Yeah, how did the backup. neighbors not hear you? Just like, I don't know. Splash and, into their like, pool. I, I, it wasn't even for the splash. I know, like as I was bouncing down the hall, it was like like I know I was making sounds as I was falling down that hill. And then I um got my postmates. <laughs> I don't care who you are, that's funny right there. Right? <laughs> I'm going to tell you this story. I was driving down the road the other day, and I get pulled over, and the policeman says, you been drinking? I'm like, no, why? Is there a fat girl in my back seat? <laughs> hey, good Lord. <laughs> By God, there's two of them. I guess I was there. Good Lord. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you get so daggone drunk, you look in your pocket the next day and there's some girl's number in there with a name and you don't know nothing about it? So you call her up and you get this, hello? <laughs> yeah, Debbie there? This is Debbie. <laughs> I ain't drinking no more. That's ridiculous right there. I ain't drinking. Well, I'm going to tell you, I was driving down to see a buddy of mine in Tulsa, Oklahoma, not long ago. And that's right. You know what Tulsa spelled backward is? A slut. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a, a slut backward is? A hundred dollars. <laughs> Get it up. That's funny. All right. But I'm going to tell you, I was driving down there, and I had one of them Randy cars that had a voice-activated radio. Like, you want to hear country music? Say, country, country, come on. You want to hear rock and roll? Rock and roll, come on. I wanted to hear country music, and I was about to say country, and some car cut me off, and I said, you stupid moron. And uh, Dr. Laura, come on the radio on there. And I couldn't, that air, no laugh at that. Lord, I apologize for that there. And be with the pygmies, amen. But I was going down there to see my buddy down there, and I stopped at the Hooters when I was down. Have you seen the shorts on them girls at the Hooters? Good Lord. Tell you what, if they get any shorter, the FDA's going to start making them wear hair nets. I'll tell you that much, because that's ridiculous. Good <laughs> Need to go to church or something. That's not, if you don't think that's funny, you get the hell out of here, because that's a funny joke right there. That's a funny joke. That's funnier than watching midgets run track right there. I tell you, that's a, that's a funny joke. But, so I get down to see my buddy, and I was at his house, and he was fighting with his nephew. I guess his nephew got in some trouble. He's in 10th grade, and he had sex with his teacher. And I was like, hey, that's kind of cool, you know. But the bad part is he's homeschooled. You know, so that ain't good. That ain't good at all. I know that ain't good. <laughs> That ain't right. Lord, I apologize for that there. Be with the pygmies in New Guinea, amen. But my buddy lives in a real bad neighborhood down there, and we was watching TV, and he said, you want to watch cops? I said, yes. We went out and sat on the front porch, and and it was a repeat. Figure that out. We was down there a couple days. Went to a strip club down there, and this girl... Yeah, this girl got mad at me, and, and uh, I tipped her with Monopoly money. And she goes, that's fake money. <laughs> like, those are fake titties. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we even take a little bit, you know? That's ridiculous. <laughs> I got to. 
I got kind of worried when I was down there because the whole time I was down there, I was talking on the cell phone, one of them cellularized telephones. And, <laughs> and uh, But I got kind of scared because I was reading in the paper the other day because my neighbor got up late. And uh, <laughs> it, uh, it said if you talk a lot on them cell phones, it could put microwaves into your body. And I think that's true, because I was talking on it the whole weekend, went home and pooped a Hot Pocket. <laughs> so, there was something to that. <laughs> Is this the dumbest part of the show right here? It's got to be close to Want a break from the ads? If you tap now to watch a short video, you'll receive 30 minutes of ad-free music. Yes, really. If you tap now to watch a short video, you'll receive 30 minutes of ad-free music. What's better than something awesome? Lots of awesome things, all wrapped up in one awesome package. With Spotify Premium, you get all sorts of awesome features. Unlimited skips, on-demand play, offline mode, extreme audio quality, connection to almost every device, and uninterrupted music. Tap the banner to learn more. Celebrate Earth Day all month long with Office Depot Office Max. Buy any HP printer between March 29th and May 2nd, online or in-store, and HP will plant a tree for every printer sold. HP has committed to planting at least half a million trees with the Arbor Day Foundation to help restore U.S. forests. Plus, get free delivery when you purchase ink and toner on OfficeDepot.com. Office Depot Office Max. AT&T has connected us for over 100 years, and we're here for you especially now, doing everything possible to keep you connected. It's the job we've always done. It is the job we will always do. Essential stores are open or visit att.com. Some guy called Peter managed to jump a skipping rope over 12,000 times in an hour. Really, it's a world record. We looked it up. Well, we think he'd like Spotify Premium. Instead of just six skips an hour, Premium gives you unlimited skips. So you can jump between tracks as much as you like. Learn more about Premium when you tap the banner. Go on, do it for Peter. I wanted to take my wife on vacation down there to Cabo San Luque, down there in New Mexico, wherever the hell it is. And I'm scared of that damn Zika virus, that mosquito deal. Now they say it spreads sexually. What the hell? How drunk you got to be to take a mosquito home with you? All right, back go. <laughs> Kidding with you. How you get your little legs apart? That's what I don't know about the old thingy. You'll bust them, they're little. I knew they were pests, now they're whores. You believe that? I can't even believe it. It's ridiculous. <sighs> I want to keep a buddy of mine in your prayers. He was supposed to be here tonight, but he got bit yesterday by a brown recluse. So, uh, not the spider, the Puerto Rican neighbor that rarely comes out of his house. All right, it's weird. Just kind of come out, bit him on the shoulder, and hauled ass back in. Like, tell's wrong with Carlos. He's normally pretty reclusive, that fella right there. I don't get that. Don't you hate it when somebody says that you look exactly like so-and-so? Every time you see him, boy, you look just like so-and-so. Then you finally meet so-and-so. <laughs> Ugliest son of a bitch you ever seen in your entire life. You're like, that gum, I look exactly like that idiot. Makes me madder than Ronnie Millsap in a corn maze. I tell you what, it's irritating. That happened to me last week. This made me madder than a hunchback in a hailstorm. I go out to, to hailstorm. I go out to, there's a hunchback in a hailstorm. So, uh, 